welcome back to Mandy Southern Stitching. My uh, project manager, Cinnamon, here is here to help us. I know I posted a poll on my community page on YouTube asking for um, what basic block you would want to see next. And um, right as of last night, there was a tie between two. But the one that got zero votes which is one that I'm actually working on now, is the snowball block. And it's really more of a technique, not really a block, because it doesn't really look like a snowball. It's not round. I mean, it kind of is, but not not in the sense of an actual round snowball. So um, it's just where you, it's more of a technique of putting a triangle on the corners. So. But since I'm working on this, I'm going to do a short video on how to do it. And we're going to have a little Christmas in July snowball fight for these two blocks, which are going to go into a quilt. Um, snowballing is a good technique if you have a very large print that you don't want to chop up too much. As in this one. I didn't want to cut these cats up too small because then you lose you know, the beauty of the, the fabric itself, so, but because they were all, I only had a yard of this, I didn't have enough to fussy cut to make specific blocks, so this was a good compromise, so I decided to do kind of a snowball block quilt, they're all going to be snowballs, um, and I actually have, like, Christmas balls, batik, it's got some Christmas balls on it, I don't know if you can see, there. So they kind of look like snowballs, kind of like Christmas balls, which I thought would go great with this. And this fabric, you can't see because it's really tiny, but there's little snowflakes on it for the white. So, um, so we're going to do a quick video on how to do that. It's super simple. Anyone can do it. And like I said, it's great for just kind of adding an extra accent to a block. You can even do like a regular block, say, a cat block and if you wanted to snowball the corners if you had a little extra on this side probably would make it better look better but you could even snowball the corners or just any block just to give it a roundness and to kind of change the dimension a little bit and just to give it a little pizzazz so this is just a basic technique that is easy for you to do she's sitting on my fabric that i need to use because she knows she can so, my last few blocks here I've been working on. I may have to cut one more 8-inch strip. But these are basically just 8-inch blocks. Like I said, that way I could preserve as much of the kitties as possible and not cut their heads off and stuff if I could help it. And that would give me at least one focus of a cat inside each block so that it wouldn't look like, oh, just chopped up a bunch of kitty cats. <laughs> so, let's get started. So this is an eight inch block and I chose to use two inch squares. You could use three inch squares, two and a half inch squares. I wouldn't go more. I had eventually, I had four inch squares at first and that looked like it was gonna take it down too much. So I wouldn't say if you've got an eight inch block, no more than a third, which would be about three. So, um, three inches. So, cause you don't want it then it doesn't really look snowballed. It looks more like you're making half square triangles. So, so what you do is you take, let me just check this fabric, flip it over. Yeah. So you take it and put it in the corner here and then you're gonna sew right to left. I mean left to right down the corner. Always check to make sure you sewed it the right way by folding up, and I did. You can just go corner to corner, and you're going to do that on all four sides. Yeah. 
this would be easy to chain piece too if you had a whole bunch of the same ones. But just so I don't get angry challenged, I'll do one at a time. Per. And you could draw a line if you needed help. But I've done so many of these that I don't really need that help. And I have diagonal seam tape, which helps me line it up better on my thing. That's one thing I recommend is to do a lot of stuff where you're sewing on an angle. Diagonal seam tape helps and keeps you from having to track down your pencils, pins, or fabric. So there we are. And then you're going to cut off the excess by a quarter, just leave a quarter of an inch near the seam. And then they're going to come out looking like this. So it kind of looks like a ball, a snowball. Kind of not though, because you do have the straight sides, but still cute. And like I said, I'm going to be making a quilt and I'll post a picture of the finished quilt once it's done using these blocks. So if you have some large print fabric that you don't know what to do with, but you don't want to just leave it as a simple square, because it looks kind of plain, snowball. All right, guys. Cinnamon and I say adios.